Hello and welcome to another episode of How To. Um, today we're going to explore the decimator again, magnetizing the decimator. Uh, this time it's going to be, um, it's going to finish up part one and go into a secondary mod and explain a lot of things that uh, perhaps, you know, problems that were unforeseen in the first video that uh, might help you guys uh, avoid these same problems. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, the magnet mod turned out well from the first video. I've already done the second magnet mod. I'm going to explain that a little more uh, here in a sec. But anyway, this is the decimator on the stand, magnetized. As you'll notice, it is magnetized. Um, I had the brilliant idea, which the first problem I'm going to address is uh, there's going to be, I did a second magnet mod for the bottom. See, as the top is magnetized, the bottom is also magnetized. Now, this was my brilliant idea. I thought, hey, the peg on the bottom is kind of weak as well. Why not magnetize both? Seems like a great idea, right? Well, not really. And the problem is, if I can zoom out a little bit, Observe what happens when the decimator is put off balance, even slightly. Or, how was it? Oh. See, before I tilt the ship, it's perfect. But if I tilt the ship now, even slightly, it's off balance, it will fall and you will drop it. It will completely come off the base. It's highly unstable for its weight. And this is because you have the model itself. I don't have a stand. You have the model itself, which is heavy. You also have these two magnets on the top, which are very heavy. And then the only other weight of note are these two magnets, which are attached to the pole, directly weighting the, uh, uh, directly, or directly focusing the weight, you know, and centrally. So the primary, um, the area of the most weight is all set on the top and the center. I mean, with the exception of these two magnets, but they're still centralized. So when there's any kind of weight balance shift, when the weight shifts one way or the other, you're going to have a lot of strain put on both joints. Whichever magnet joint starts to slip first, all of the all of the weight will fall fall upon it, and it will give, completely give way immediately. The reason why two magnet joints are weaker than one is because it, with the other one you could rely on the um, the base being solid with the pegs, and uh, it, I didn't realize how much it relied upon that mechanical advantage of just being actually connected to that base. So, uh, the other problem that was a problem in the first one, the reason why I didn't show it completed in the last video is because um, even though I stated the importance of the uh, of knowing which side the magnets are on when you glue them, I myself made the mistake and I set the magnet down the wrong side and you can tell that if you watched extremely closely in the video I set the magnet down on the wrong side of the table and uh, that's the reason why later when I pick it up and glue it, it um, it's the wrong side so uh, when the video was done I didn't show it I couldn't show it completed and I was embarrassed so I didn't uh, I didn't put it in the video but uh, I since them have fixed that I had to I just get, I just glued another peg which was kind of foolish because uh, since then I've gone through a lot of other problems with other large models and uh, learned that I could just uh, tear off the magnet and redo it. Here's a couple of ships I just glued today because I ended up uh, I wanted to glue my Houndstooth and uh, Jumpmaster 5000. And based on what I've learned with the decimator I've taken the best elements, put a glued magnet onto the hound's tooth, 
and the base. On this one I did a slightly different. And I wanted to show this particular mod, it's a little different. On this one, instead of just here's the example of the decimator. <clears throat> the decimator, I just took a peg and on the top tore off the the top piece and put a, a magnet on there. This one is different. The difference is I did not use the top of the peg. I kept the top of that peg and tore off the top of the ship and used that, connected on top of the peg and then glued the magnet on top of that to make it a little higher. I did that for the hound's tooth because I want him to be higher up so he can actually be over top maybe over top of the other ships because the magnets will add a few millimeters to the height of the ship and if it maintains that top peg piece then it might be able to uh, get over top of some of the other ships so that's something that the decimator I didn't do with I just removed the top um, on the decimator I just removed completely that peg piece and didn't reconnect it there I just glued you know the lower peg piece onto the ship so actually by magnetizing my decimator I shortened it but with the hound's tooth I'm going to increase the height of it um, did something similar with the jump master the jump master I did it the way that I did with the decimator just the original small pig pieces you know it doesn't have the ship piece did this the same way and uh, it should be like the decimator it's gonna be shorter but it's a small model so I don't care if it's not as tall but uh, yeah I'm uh, gonna conclude this video I just glued them today so I'm gonna probably wait a day I usually wait a day even though they should be good after a few hours but I'm just extra careful and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll come back with the end result and see what they all look like and uh, final notes on uh, magnetizing the decimator oh and to fix my decimator mod if you do decide to try it the way to fix it what I'm going to do I'm going to tear off this magnet piece and try to pull out that magnet piece in there because I put a magnet inside of there and glued it filled in the hole with glue but I found it's not terribly hard if you're using that E6000 glue to pull it out with a hard object just some kind of plastic bit or metal and uh, you can actually tear off the glue off the top of this peg with your fingers if you just sit and pick at it for a while so I'm going to just try to reverse the mod pull the glue out and uh, I'll come back and see if I can reverse the uh, magnetizing the decimator mod. <laughs> I mean, you obviously can't reverse the original mod where I tore apart the peg, but for the bottom piece, since it's just a hole, I mean, I might be able to burrow out the glue out of these two segments and um, reconnect. And if that doesn't work, I might have to get a little fancy. So we'll see all right in conclusion I wanted to uh, end this by showing the uh, final result of these mods on each one of these ships uh, first off the decimator this mod remember we had uh, well actually no let's start with the hound's tooth hound's tooth magnet glued quite well on the on the bottom very happy with the way that that attached and then we glued the magnet to the pole there remember using the peg addition so it's not actually on the regular peg right. magnets are good um, the height increase with do the extra like little half peg um, is beneficial but I sized it up with another ship and as you can see 
the added weight, it's already a large model, and the added weight of that, those magnets have weakened the base plate, or the part where the peg connects to the base plate. So that might be something to consider. Moving on to this ship, the Jumpmaster. Jumpmaster connects on perfectly. It's beautiful. I uh, have absolutely no complaints. It's a smaller ship, so um, didn't put any extra, the extra weight didn't put any extra strain on the pegs at all on the base. Works perfectly. Should have done it a long time ago. Um, moving on to the decimator. Remember, it was already magnetized, but what we did is we glued to fix the secondary magnet mod. We glued the uh, the base in there because it was damaged by reversing the magnet mod. So, connect it. Holds the weight very nicely. Actually, even better than previous. Now it can actually stand upside down. This thing is super sturdy. So, uh, highly impressed with this one. Highly impressed with this one. And now, from this one, I've learned that maybe that's a mod that could fix this ship. If I glue this base in here, this ship will be perfect. Because then, the only problem with it is uh, the weight of the magnets plus the weight of the ship. Um, it's the biggest large ship I believe they've released. Um, and they even scaled it down. <laughs> so, I mean, this thing actually should be... It should be one of the epic ships, to be honest. Anyway, so... I'm going so anyway, as I was saying, what I'm going to do is... Uh, with the decimator, very happy with the build. Leave this one as is. So this will be the final video you'll probably see modification-wise for at least magnetizing the decimator. However, from what we have learned with the decimator, I think I might uh, implement such mods to this ship. Um, since then, I've been able to affix the base a little better, so I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to use that mod on this ship or not. But uh, the magnet mods are are beautiful still, and it all started with the decimator in that very first video when I learned how to mod uh, large ships, and this one's beautiful as well. I'm so happy with this one. It's uh, the smaller the large ship, the better the magnets work on it, to be honest. Anyway, um, I have discovered a smaller magnet size that is perfect for small base ships, and I may be doing some of those. Um, I'm still a little cautious into doing mods that involve the smaller bits of these ships. I'm pretty much going to stick to the bases, but... Um, Again, remember, um, if you want to go back to see behind the scenes on how I did all this stuff, go back to part one of, uh, of this video, the magnetizing the decimator part one, rather. Uh, great video. It was my first attempt. And if you watch this one after that, uh, this video will make a whole lot more sense to you. And uh, I will definitely be magnetizing more ships in the future. So, uh, as well as implementing other mods, and uh, go ahead and hit a subscribe, uh, like the video if you liked it, and uh, comment for any suggestions or anything that uh, you might have. And, uh, yeah, just one quick little look at the uh, last look of the ships. Beautiful models. I'm uh, getting into scum lately, so... Uh, yeah, look how strong that magnet is. Ridiculous. Anyway, but yeah, it's a pretty nifty thing to just be able to spin the ships and be like, oh, let's get them out of the way, you know, or just take them off the base. But, uh, great fixes, great fixes. Love them. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to be starting another ver uh, another playlist on the channel. It's going to be a Let's Discuss. 
and uh, or type thing. I haven't gotten the name down yet. But uh, I'm going to go over various builds that I've done in my Let's Play videos. Go ahead and check those out. And uh, to see what's going to be coming, I'm going to analyze all those builds previously, plus a whole bunch of other ones that I've implemented uh, that I didn't actually release in the videos, and some videos that I didn't actually release online. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch of videos coming up soon. So uh, go ahead and get that subscribe, and uh, thank you all for watching.